as most of you guys are aware, Brendan Shaw is now becoming a full-time race car driver or something, right? He's racing these like trucks um, through the desert. I don't know. He's doing some some long distance racing, right? So he quit stand-up comedy to have to spend more time with his family, but then he picked up a new hobby that's going to take time away from his family. Make that make sense. It doesn't make sense, but we continue. So he's got this new hobby. He's training to become a race car driver. He's acting like he was doing it on the sly. And the, you know, he's always wanted to be a race car driver. It's always been his passion, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, you'd think because it's a new hobby and something that he's been trying to do now to maybe occupy his time and to maybe give him something, you know, whatever, to do outside of not doing stand-up anymore, you'd think he'd be more enthusiastic about talking about it. But... I get the feeling there's not he's not telling the whole truth about the situation because listen to him, listen to how much, listen to how hard Brian has to try to pull information out of him regarding this Mint 400 race thing and how little information Brendan offers up. So is he being purposely coy because he wants to save it for his show? Does he feel like Brian is waiting time to talk about his thing because he doesn't know anything about cars? Or is it all just one big grift he doesn't want to talk about it because he's not really bothered about it. I don't know. Listen to the clip and I want you guys to let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Get ready for that Mint 400 race I was telling you about. Yeah. How'd that go? It was great. Did you like it? Things intense. Did you actually race? Oh, yeah. 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 What truck? It's called a Class 1 truck. Most of them okay. have LS engines in them. This had a Ford engine in it, but it was fun. Right. All right. It was cool. Did that and then back home Saturday, baby. A more? That's great. And then we went to, um, I there? didn't go to the fight. That's what you drove? Yeah. Damn, what's that like? It's crazy. How, how many horsepower? That one has like 800 something. How'd you do? Good. It's, you got to gotta get used to it because yeah. the, the clutch, the way you, the way you shift, it was, it's, just, it's just different. Yeah. It was fun. It so was so much you, fun. Did you actually race people or you just, just No, we're just getting fast. ready because I, I got to do a ton of training. So did you race or didn't you race? Are you training or are you not training? Are you excited or are you not excited? Can you please offer some more information? Can you please let us know what you're doing and why you're doing it? Why post pictures up on Instagram if you don't want to talk about it? What's happening here? Is it a race? Is it a competition? Is it a trial? Is it an exhibition? What is it? Training before the Mint 400. Cause Mint 400 so you are going to do a race? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, the, because the Mint 400, it's 400 miles in like off-road terrain. Oh, geez. In yeah. I guess so it's going to take about six you, hours. You might break. Off-road terrain, 400 miles. Hmm. Break down. Sitting in a car? I don't know. Is, isn't that how you break down? Why is he so... What, hold on. Why did he say that about, about breaking down? Isn't that how you break down in a car? Doesn't your car break down while you're sitting inside it? Why is it acting as if like your car can't break down if you're driving it? Isn't that how it breaks down in the first place? What? One more time. Sitting in a car? One more time. Know. One more time. In yeah. Vegas, so it's going to take about six you, hours. You might break down. Sitting in a car? I don't know. No. Are you a good... Brian's pussy out straight away. I don't know. Are you a good driver, though? Can you race? I mean, that thing... If, if I flip that thing, I should just stop driving all vehicles. That thing's pretty damn hard to flip. Yeah. But it's fun. I dig yeah. it. Hold on. What's harder to flip? One of those bouncy, up and down, flipping truck things that he's going to race or the regular pickup truck that he allegedly flipped upside down? Please, someone tell me in the stream chat. Someone tell me in the stream chat what is harder to fucking flip. Again, I'm not a car guy, right? Great car, never met him. Don't even have a fucking driver's license apart from my provisional, which I use as ID to go to clubs or I used to cut up some of my fucking drugs on my phone. So I don't really know nothing about fucking driving. So let me know. What's harder to fucking flip? That dune buggy thing that he's going to be driving that looks like it bounces up and down and has crazy fucking suspension or a fucking, um, what's it thing? Um, a TRX. What is, what is easier to fucking flip? Please let me know in the stream chat. What's easier to flip? I want to know. What is fucking easier to flip? Because in my head, I feel like flipping, you know, I feel like flipping one of these. In my opinion, I feel like flipping this. Oh, oh. I feel like flipping one of these TRX trucks is way harder than flipping one of those dune buggy things. But maybe I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Who knows? Please let me know in the stream chat. 
what is the harder thing to flip? Let me know in the stream chat. What is harder to flip? Please let me know. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think is harder to flip? Okay, people are saying TRX is hard. It's easy. Okay, really? Okay, I didn't know that. Um, Austin Cage is saying TRX is way easier to flip than that dune buggy thing. Okay, fair play. I guess that makes some... There, there's some sense in that, right? Maybe those dune buggies are made the way they are. They probably have wide... Um, what you call it? Wide, um, I don't know what they call called. Wheelbase maybe helps to keep them fucking, you know, down to the ground. There's something about engineering-wise, how they make it, helps to keep these things low. So maybe that, that car is harder to flip than this car, right? Maybe it's harder to flip this than to flip that. Maybe. Maybe it's harder to flip this than to flip that. Maybe. 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 But what do I know, huh? What do I know? What is harder to flip? Doom buggy is hard to flip, people are saying. My reference is these cars. Um, this racetrack might be easy to flip. But the TRX is still very easy to flip compared to a regular truck. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So I guess Brendan is right there. I guess Brendan is definitely right there. TRX gets flipped easy. Dune buggy, not so much. Not so much. Cool. Let's continue. Yeah, I love it. Good. Yeah, meant 400 be fun. Chuck Norris raced in the Mint 400. Okay. Paul Newman. Okay. Vanna White was Miss 400. All right. Back in the day. Bring up Vanna White Mint 400. Dude, you forget how hot she was. She had something to say. Every episode, we've got a segment that involves, like, oogling some woman that isn't your wife, isn't it? It must be nice marrying, you know, regular white women in America. It must be really nice because they don't seem to give a fuck about this sort of stuff because if the kind of ladies that I date, the kind of wife that I have, woo! I could not get away with doing this. I could not just get away with being on the stream and be like, oh, look at her tits. Look at her bum. Look at those lips. I couldn't get away with that. I couldn't. I'd get a fucking shoe thrown on my head. So the fact that these guys can get away with this says a lot. My boy Matt was like, you know, Vanna White won Miss Mint 400. Go to the one where she's in the, no, go to the black and white top. No, no, no. The, the, the only one. Yep. Dude, you have a problem with that? I even have to. I even have to watch what I like. Exactly. Big up, Matty boy. My wife would castrate me live if I before. Exactly. Exactly. I have, I have to even watch what I like. You know what I mean? I can't even like certain things in public because it just come up my fucking name. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck is that? I'll get sent a screenshot with a circle. Who the fuck are you liking? Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't take the kids. Don't take the dog, please. Now they can't do the Miss Mim. Okay, fair enough, Kevin. I take it back. I take it back. All the all the respectful white queens out there that fucking you know have some standards, right? They don't let their guys do some nonsense. My bad. My white queens out there. My new my my snow princesses. My my white Nubian queens. If that even is a thing. <laughs> Four hundred now because she was, of woke she was culture. Very, very broad broad brawless there. Woke culture. Woke culture. What does woke culture got to do with a woman wearing a, a transparency looking t-shirt? He's acting as if OnlyFans doesn't exist. Woke culture. One more time. Huh? Woke culture. Bruv, we have a paper here in the UK called The Sun. On page three of The Sun, there's a, there's a girl with her tits out every fucking, every day of the week. A new girl with her tits out every fucking day of the week. You go on fucking Twitter and there's full blown porn on there. Woke culture is stopping us from having um girls at driving events wearing wearing like tight very see-through t-shirts come on bro come on let's be real here the, the black and white top no 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 the the, the only Sorry. one yep dude you have a problem with that now they can't do the miss mint 400 now because was, of woke culture very, very broad broad brawless there <laughs> you got that but 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 yeah i got a little i got a little uh that was Honestly, imagine I, I wish I could get away with that. Just sitting there watching another watching another woman's breasts live on stream. I wish I could get away with that. I would be on the streets. I would be on the streets. I'd have my clothes thrown out the window, right? Like in some scene in the R and B movie where the guy's like trying to sing, you know, for his woman's love after he got caught cheating. I'd be like one of those type of scenes, like trying to catch all my jackets and shit as they're getting flung in the air. It would not end well for me. But these guys can sit here and just oogle at this white lady's breastesses 
right? Without any fucking regard, right? No regard for their family, no regards for their wife, no fear of having to sleep on the sofa or be in a doghouse. Nah, mate, nah. That's why I need to make it. That's why I need to become a professional podcaster so that I can make enough money that I can say, shh. Where are you going? Shh. Who's that texting you? Shh. That's what I need to do to get like these guys. Shh. Whose knickers are that? Whose knickers are those in your pocket? Shh. Why do you have a pocket full of condoms? Shh. <laughs> That's what I need. I need to get fucking podcast rich to go. Shh. <laughs> She's that was a cutie. Mint four hundred. Cutie pie. How my boy I'm Matt shows me that shows that picture, and she's obviously painfully hot. And I go, God, I wish you had that hat. Jay was like, You know, how I know you're gay. <laughs> Talking about her hat. I was like, yeah, fair point. <laughs> great humor, great banter. So Brendan's a race car driver. Maybe he isn't. Maybe he is. Maybe it's an exhibition thing. Who knows? He's not really offering up much information regarding the whole thing. Um, let's see how it plays out. It's a good thing for him, I guess, timing, for guess mental health wise, maybe being at home all the time after spending all of those years trying to become a stand up comedian and it failing. Maybe it's good to have a little bit of a buffer in between to transition from full time dad mode. But I do still find it incredibly hilarious that he made such a big and song, song and dance about quitting stand up to focus on his family. And in the first instance, he gets a new hobby that takes him away from his family. He runs to it. He runs to it, runs to it, open arms. Absolutely hilarious, man. Hilarious. Ah, uh, what's happening? Uh, what's Uche? My British friend almost got beat up backpacking in Panama because a black guy overheard her say knickers and thought she was talking about something else. Yeah, exactly. Hey, yay. Big up the girls out there. Big up my girl them with the big knickers. Big up my big knicker girl them, right? That 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 size, right? The, that size. Big up my big knicker girl them, huh? Eh? Big up my big knicker girl them, huh? Eh? Big up. I'm holding you right now. Look, look at me holding you. Big up my big knicker girl them. Big big knicker girl. Them. <laughs> Hope you all well, right? We want those knickers are like kites. You know what I mean? Like kites. We want the kite knickers. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? We want that parachute knickers. You can fucking jump out of the airplane with. Big up. Whew. What are you guys saying? Yeah, sorry, babe, I was out with the boys, but there's a new channel. <laughs> exactly. This new Chanel. David Guerrero. David Guerrero. Exactly. So, not even sorry, babe. Like, where were you? With the boys. Doing what? Fucking other women. Why? Shh. There's a bag. Open the bag. There's a bag in there. Shh. Who's texting you? Megan fucking Fox. Why? Because she loves me. Shh. <laughs> There's some new shoes. Okay? You're not allowed outside though. You can't go anywhere. That's that fucking Andrew Tate fresh and fit methodology, right? I do what I want to do. You can't do what you want to do. All right? Double standard things. Double standard things. We live for it. We live for double standard. That's what we live for. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Double standards, gang. You get freedom, she gets nothing. Feel me? Yeah. Let's continue. Um, next clip is Brendan hating and interrupting Brian Callan's UFC recap. This is an epic example, an epic display of unbridled, unfucking, just, just pure and utter hating. Hating that would make Red Bar proud. Hating that would make me proud. Hating that would make comedy enforcement proud, right? You know how he hates on fucking Kalila because she's hot and shit, right? That kind of level of hating that would make comedy enforcement proud. Big up M Dus. Thank you for the flipping one dollar super chat. No message, but big up you. Appreciate it, right? The kind of hating that would make fucking Red Bar proud. The kind of hating that would make me proud. Big up Austin Kershaw. Appreciate you, brother. In the racing world where everything is made to save weight, down to using titanium bolts to save weight, I wonder how two guys that weigh over 200 pounds <laughs> each will do. Yeah, good point. Good fucking point. I never thought about that, actually. I never thought... To be fair, to be fair, 
Maybe the extra weight will help them like have a lower center of gravity or bring them down a bit more, right? Maybe that's what it helped them do. So it won't flip. So it'll help them like to stay lower as they're fucking driving. You know what I mean? That's what it might do. It might help with the fucking driving. You know what I mean? Like it might fucking help. You know what I mean? That's what it might do. So maybe that's what will happen. Maybe that's what will happen. But bigger Austin Casey, appreciate ya.